here. So I heard you wanted to start learning how to win some fights. Well, do I have some plans for you? Here. Come on in. Hi! Welcome. So, we're gonna have to discuss a few things. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, but this is the best I can do. You know, we're in the middle of a dumpster. So if I can't, make, you, make yourself at home. First, we need to cover two things. Positioning and profile. Positioning is all about where you are, where the enemy is, what angles they have, what angles you have, what height advantage do you have, what height advantage do they have, what, do you have a range advantage? Do they have a range advantage? And freedom of mobility. Do they have that and do you have that? A lot that goes into positioning. Profile is all about how much you stick out. Uh, take for example, if we were to peek a corner, we all know we're supposed to lean peek those corners so that we have a small profile. But more often than not, we end up uh, going around the corner and big dicking it, getting shot in the dick. There's another. As you can see here, my dick is gone. What you wear also affects your profile. If you're wearing a massive couch, I'm sure this is common knowledge to a lot of people, or a pilgrim, uh, you stick out a hell of a lot more than a guy without a backpack. Or a guy with a MBSS, even though no one runs that, but it's got a very small profile. Your gun also affects your profile. If you have the massive barrel on your HK or your M4, you're probably going to end up having a big gun that sticks out. You know, out of that bush, out of that corner, out of that window. While, if you were running the 206 millimeter barrel, or even just something with a smaller profile, like a Keter that's real tucked into your shoulder like this, um, you're gonna have a much smaller profile, making you much harder to see. Being prone also affects your profile. You're a hell of a lot of a smaller target, even though you're not as fast, uh, but it's a great way to break line of sight, which then factors into the last point of positioning from both you and the enemy. I think maybe he's going to loot Delacia? Possibly. Oh. Where's your body, Delacia? Like directly ahead of me? Uh, to your left, right? Got one. Got. He killed one. So let's get a bit of an example where um, a little bit of good positioning and a little bit of bad positioning happen at the same time because um, positioning matters at every second of the engagement. Behind us? Yeah, uh, no, uh, by the water. So, a little bit of context here. Uh, we're here, over here at Crane, and there are four of us. One's over at the edge of the fence here, the green dot is me, the blue dot is my allies. Don't worry too much about my allies at the moment. So, what we need to do is we need to first identify where the hostiles could be. And they could be anywhere in this red square. We just don't know yet. So, uh, let's let it play out. Get some more information and figure out what to do from there. Get him. Me and Caleb are W King. I'm inside. Uh, opposite side of the blue fence. So now we're in. We got more callouts. He said he's by the water on the opposite side of the blue fence. So as we move in, we're clearing out areas where the hostiles could possibly be. And we've reduced it down to the opposite side of the blue fence, but they could also be in this area over here. They could have moved while we were not paying attention, or um, while we were pushing in, they could have repositioned. By the water. He's by the red forklift, right? Yeah. I didn't bring a grenade. Oh, there he is. Hi. Hi, how are ya? So, quick little note from me, uh, my positioning here, awful. I have no cover, I have no way of breaking line of sight, and if I get spotted here, I just die. Bad part on me. Well, let's get back to it. I'm Sam. He's falling back. So here's what? He's trying to fall back. Are you holding the angle? No, I wasn't. Oh, shit. 
Yeah, I see him. He's trying to peek over the top right now. So right here, um, I'm able to see him. I can see his thorax, his gun, his head. Uh, I made a mistake here by moving out and exposing my thorax. But a um, little micro thing is not going to be the end of the world. So if he's looking at me, he sees my thorax, my arms, my gun, and my head. All I have to do is line up an easy shot, get an easy kill. I whipped it. Does that not stop a heavy bleed? I got him. So, I missed a really easy shot, and I'm bad, and I should feel bad. But, um, after taking that shot, I'm not going to be peek the same, same angle. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to find another angle to peek and do the same exact thing. So when he goes to return fire or identify my position, uh, his mistake is in order for him to shoot back, he has to get the gun over the fence. In order for him to get his gun over the fence, he has to uncrouch, which gives me ample time to line up a shot and get him right in the thorax. So let's take an example of really bad positioning and what that looks like. Oh wow, he's doing some. What is with people and running the uh, VPO right now? What are they trying to do? Oh, bolt action sniper kills. Kill. Bolt action kills or sniper skills. Walking near me. I'm dead. I'm so dead. Ah! Stop shooting me, you bitch! Oh my god, you're right. Oh shit. Ah! <laughs> What went wrong here? Well, I'm looting, face down, ass up. Scav rolls up and looks at me, gives me a dirty look. You know, uh, I should ADS and shoot him calmly. Uh, but instead I panic. Uh, I had a good idea of taking cover against the scav because it seemed like he was fleeing. But, uh, yeah, that didn't work out either. And, uh, I didn't count my shots. So I, I, I died. So let's get an example where we can put it all together. Positioning, profile, everything. Uh, this is gonna be a bit of a longer segment here. So hunker down. All right. Let's get out of here and go to the rest of the map where all the people are. It's fine. Sounds like they were out in New Gas, whoever the fuck that was. Oh, they're Fortress now. Unless that was one of you guys shooting. Yeah, Fortress. We want to catch him. We gotta go. Alright, let's go. So if the shots were coming from an interior source, they were probably on first floor. I guess. I'm gonna go off for the raid. You I did the jump over. So, coming from dorms and uh, trying to take fortress is going to be a little difficult. Uh, we already took control of construction, and from construction, we can start to plan our approach of the fortress itself. There's three of us, and the best thing we can do is split off and try to attack it from different angles. So that way, if one person gets engaged and the person takes cover behind a certain wall, we'll be able to see them from another angle and possibly get a shot. Second story. Anything. Second story. I killed him. He almost killed someone. You're so lucky. Was that at you, Dan? No. He's dead, second story. He might have a teammate, though. Where do you lock? Teammate, second story, left side. He, I whiffed him. He's went to the staircase. So what went wrong here for them? Uh, the first guy had the right idea. He was peeking it from as much cover as possible and um, really try to minimize his profile. Uh, the only issue that I would have with it is if I was peeking that angle, I would try to not even shoot my gun or ADS down with my gun because in order to ADS, you have to expose a little bit of your arms and your thorax, which pretty much leaves your entire head exposed. 
Uh, I would honestly just get up against a corner and lean peek and only see what I can see inch by inch and only expose little by little of my head. A uh, little fun fact here, his U-lock actually reflected my first shot. So wear your helmets, kids. For the second guy, um, he's making huge positioning errors and uh, exposing himself like crazy with his profile. Uh, if I was a better shot, I would have easily killed this guy. Uh, I honestly probably should have just thwaxed him twice, but that's on me for being an idiot and not thinking about that. You're good. So he's got a teammate on the left side now. I'm pretty sure he went first. He's first floor on the stairwell. First floor on the stairwell. He's up second story now, I'm pretty sure. I think. Second story. Right side. Motherfucker crouched. I think he saw me. I need to reposition. So, props to this guy. After he realized uh, his mistake after the first encounter, when he was peeking these, sure his profile was high and uh, his positioning was a little awkward. He He's compensating that with sporadic and unpredictable movement. And that's what made it hard for me to be able to shoot him in the face. It was the E key lean, the Q key lean, the crouch at random times. Uh, realistically, I should have just sat back and waited for a pattern. But um, I thought I had the shot, and I did not. But after I took my shots, I think he saw me. So if I have any doubts in my mind that he knows where I am, I need to immediately reposition and try to find a new angle. He's still left side behind the sandbags. Gotcha. Oh, he's right side now. No visual. Yeah, he's still right. He's not standing still long enough. He knows not to. If I can get a long enough flank, I can hit him from the back. I don't so know how you moving? kill him your first no. couple no. shots. No. Movement near, the, movement near the platform. I'm switching angle. Try to get a visual. Not a very good visual. It wasn't very loud. It might have been you stepping. I didn't step. I'm prone. Oh, well, there was definitely steps coming. Probably third party. If we don't kill this guy, he's gonna just gonna hide his buddy's stuff and leave. Yeah. I'm gonna go for the flank around to the right. Hopefully he doesn't see me. Alright, we're gone. I don't think he saw me. So while we're doing this flank, um we're gonna exercise our freedom of movement advantage here. So what is freedom of movement? It's uh, a term I guess I'm going to coin that is defined as having the ability to reposition without the enemy knowing your new location. Um, if the enemy knows where you are, they're going to look at you and they're going to be able to shoot you. Mm, he's in the back now. On the cell wall. They're on the opposite side. Yeah. He's on the right side up top. Yep. He just moved back. I think I might be too loud. He might be hearing me sprint. Don't go too far, snipers. I know. Better not see me do this flank. I think there's two of them up there.
Still Whatever upstairs. He's upstairs still upstairs. Still? Front right. He he just moved back again. Oh, Unless I saw it. Unless it was a piece of grass, but oh, it definitely. Oh, I see him. He's, like... he's over on the left side now. Or my right side. Or your right side. He might have seen me. This too, there has to be. They're going down the back stairs. Maybe. Oh, oh no, nope. still right side for you. I love how none of us are running like a long range gun. <laughs> Can't tell if that's graffiti or him. It's a I think it's just graffiti. I'm moving up. Oh, he's under the staircase to your left. That staircase? He's running, he's running out the side door. Side door. Might be pushing you, dude. Not in a very good spot to help. You see him. No visual. Think maybe he's going to loot Delacia? Possibly. Oh. Where's your body, Delacia? Like directly ahead of me? Uh, to your left, or right? Got one. Got. He killed one. Oh, I see his body. I do too. Dead. He, you're dead. No, they're yeah, dead. He killed him. Okay. Caleb's on fire right now. That was a three-man, Caleb. Up top. Up Are top, you up, up top? top? No, 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 no. There's another. There's another. Yep, he's up top. Got some kind of shotgun up top to your left. They think we're to water side. They think we're towards water side. There's no he's, he's moving. I did. He went to the left side, I think. If I'm spotted, I'm dead. Yeah. He's behind uh, the bricks on your left side. Oh, that's you on first, right? Yeah. He's moving. Got him. Dead. Nice. Jesus, Caleb. You don't uh, need no fucking you, 1x. Did you or... see your shooter born in heavens done right there? No, I don't have shooter born. Oh my gosh. If you did, those were probably all 100 meters. Or at least two of the three. The ranging was 50. If the ranging was 100, I think I would shoot high. And if the ranging was 25, I'd shoot low. So yeah. I think 50 is the sweet spot for this Romeo. Nice. There's a I rig sitting here for some reason. They were stashing Boy. shit. So, what we learned today was positioning and profile. And um, when it comes to positioning, it's all about essentially the assessment of what advantages do you have, what advantages does the enemy have, and how can you leverage those advantages to get yourself into a favorable favorable position to win the fight. Uh, and profile, it's a very minor, minor thing, but profile essentially gives you that slight advantage when it comes to how easily you're spotted, um, how easy is it to shoot you if you're peeking a corner, all that good stuff. And with that, I hope that this helps you survive some more raids and win some more fights. Good luck out there.